Hey guys, Carolina Rippers back with another video for you. Uh, today we got a new product for our football fans. Uh, Donner's Elite came out this weekend. It came out on uh, Friday. Um, this video is going out a little bit later. We, we typically, if you've been with us, you know that we get our boxes a little bit later than release day because we have to wait on the distributor. We don't have a card shop around us. So we're usually a little later. This is not too bad. One day. Um, the benefit of that is that I get to see some of it ripped and I get to maybe add a little more detail to the video um, knowing what's in the box. So uh, this is one of those sets every year that it's one of the earlier sets. The last year or two, it's had college jerseys, but this year a lot of the guys did have a photo shoot. So they're going to be in pro uniforms. And this has got some of the first pro uniform autos as well. Mm -hmm. So it's got pen pals in it, which is the on card. That's a pretty popular Autograph series that's on here. I think that's that's pretty much what you want out of here. Um, those are cool because the, the ink color will determine how rare it is sometimes with the pen pals. Kind of like uh, luminance. So they'll have different different color inks at times, and that means that it's a little bit lower numbering. You'll have turn of the century. You've got some veteran autos in here as well. Two autographs, one mem card. This is going to be, I believe it's five cards a pack. Where does it say it? Five cards a pack, twenty packs, so it's it's a hundred cards. It's the panini thing is right over yeah. top of it. Um, hundred cards in the box, so it's a fairly heavy box. Um, yeah, pen pals with the on card autos there. Um, you're gonna have spellbounds in here if you wanna you wanna clear that up a little bit for them there, Cole. You guys can see some of this stuff in here. Um, the I, I have noticed a couple of things. So on our on our sales sheet from the distributor, it says. That they added case hits. So there's Wiz Kids and two other ones that they added this year. A, uh, A List, I think, is another one. Um, so there's three different case hits in here. Um, you can also get Razzle Dazzles in that are in this. It's a parallel. I know. It's it's kind of a. I think it's even less than a case hit. Like maybe it's every two or three cases. Um, they're like a black and white parallel. They look really, really neat. I mean, this is a very busy card as it is. They're very busy. Mm. Um. And so the other thing is on the sell sheet, it also said that Playmakers, which was a case hit last year, it said Chase Super Short Printed Playmakers. But I have seen one or two in every box so far. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I'll just keep telling you guys some more stuff. So I don't think Playmakers is a case hit. Um, like I said, it said that it says that on some of the distributor information. But uh, apparently Panini changed their mind, which they have done before. You remember the... The Donruss Megas last year that said... Oh, the pinks. Ultra rare pinks. And then there was one in every pack. So, sometimes I think Panini must change their mind. And then... Uh, and then not properly update their packaging. They change their mind and not marketing. Alright, so here's your packs. Dark purple this year. Fancy. So, this is going to be good. We're going to get to see the new rookie class. Some more in here. Um... It's opening weekend for football, so we're going to get to see some of those guys on the field, hopefully. Should be good times. Um, I did notice that Spellbounds, normally you get three or four in a box. I've only been seeing one. So I wonder what they're, I'm wondering if they're going to put those numbered ones into retail. We're going to get a Tom Brady O. I've seen Full Throttle in here as well, but it seems very rare also, which is odd because normally that one's pretty common. Um, Aaron Rodgers, Derrick Henry, and oh, what did we get? Okay. I have not seen this card. Uh, that's kind of funny. I've watched four or five boxes. I have not seen these coming out. I wonder how rare those are. That is numbered to 349. Tidal Waves is normally not that rare, so not a case hit. But Jonathan Taylor Tidal Waves. This is like the uh, Field Vision and all that, but I haven't been seeing too many of these coming out. That's a nice looking pattern this year. Pretty cool. He's on my fantasy. Is he? Do you have the first pick? Mm -hmm. Kittle and Micah Parsons? Oh, yeah, in that one league that you screwed up the draft order and cheated me. I remember that. Well, you're about to win the whole thing, so don't... Just because I'm amazing at fantasy football doesn't mean it was fair. Devontae Adams? You guys know what I'm talking about. A.J. Brown? See, here you go. A.J. Brown, and then a Justin Fields Playmakers case hit. Woo-hoo-hoo! -hoo. I bet we'll get, like, two of them. <laughs> so... In, in years past, before 2021, these were all over the place. And then last year, they made them case hits. So I wonder if they just carried that over by accident. Edwards-Alaire, Russell Wilson. 
Now, there are fillers in this this year. I want to say there's like three fillers. So we'll try not to get fooled. Fooled by the fillers. Uh, Mike Evans, Matt Stafford. Um, also, you only get like three rookies, and they will be numbered. All your rookies are numbered, so it makes them much more rare in this set than some of the others. So let's see. This looks like a jet. It is. Michael Carter. This is a veteran. So you do get some numbered vets, too. Veteran Michael Carter to three ninety nine. dollars We'll take that. Thank you, sir. Daniel Jones, T. Higgins. I don't know who I'm thanking. Like Cole did anything. You're welcome. There's a lot of packs in here, so not going to get amazingness in every single one. So this is an auto, it looks like. Might be our pen pal. Man, I hope not, because that looks like Saints. Well, ooh, good. Saints could be good. Let's pull from the back. Tannehill. I forgot. I forgot who they had. Saints could be good this year. Dalvin Cook. They have? they have Chris Alave. Oh. I'll take that. He might be really good. Ooh, elite deck. Here's your elite deck this year. Love these. I think the design this year is really good. A little, little Herbie action. Let's see what we got behind this second year Mac Jones. It was upside down. Oh, it is Chris Alave. Yeah, we will take that. Okay, I'm not upset. Pen Pals, Chris Alave, Blue Ink. How about uh, check out the checklist if you can. It looks to be in pretty decent shape. So we've done well with our on-card autos this year. You remember from Luminance, we got a Malik Willis. Uh, and now we got a Pen Pals Chris Alave. Although he is a Buckeye, which I don't really like the Buckeyes all that much. Oh, let Cole look that up while we keep going. But man, Chris Alave for one of our autos. I will take that. That's awesome. Oh, geez. Is this our other one? I think we got our second auto right here already. Oh, and something numbered behind it. Oh, it doesn't matter. What? They're not, it doesn't, like, no numbering or anything. It's only turn of huh. the centuries that have the... Oh, okay. Well, at least... Yeah, so maybe it doesn't have an... I thought it was a rarity, but at least doesn't say it on there. Tyree Kill. Matt Ryan. Yeah, so maybe I'm wrong. It is possible. I know you it's guys usually. are all out there going, what? It happens a lot. Ooh, okay. This is going to be another numbered veteran. T. Higgins at a 99. We like us some T. Higgins. Underrated uh, wide receiver. By many. It's a cool pattern. It's like the diamonds pattern. Yeah. The numbering this year is all down here in the corner, so that's cool. Take a little take a little T. Higgins. This one. This autograph. On, oh, no. It's Washington. Who's Washington have? This I this is not a turn of the century. I think this is a vet. K.H. Oh, gosh. Look at that helmet. This is an old school. Ken Houston. Goodness. To 149. Now, if you're going to give me a vet auto, at least make it numbered to like 20. All right. One of 149 Ken Houston autographs. Wow. Million dollar card right there. That is, that is fairly disappointing. <laughs> I mean, the Alave is nice. I'm not, I'm not going to call the, the box a bust. Now, we did let the dog choose the box again. So, I don't know. We'll have to decide at the end if she she was successful or not. Well, there's going to be a Tom Brady Spellbound in there. So Mike I think Pittman? it is. Spell, is it going to be a one one Because Spellbound is not that impressive. Chris Godwin. Hey, there's another Alave. Rookie on deck. Nice. Aaron Donald. Damian Harris. I wonder if the, the rookie on decks would be cool if they numbered those. Yeah. Maybe parallels as well. That'd be kind of cool. Zeke. Deshaun Watson, and we have one of our fillers, and oh, is this a number? It's a numbered playmakers out of 25, Alvin Kamara. Okay, I didn't realize they numbered those. Is that a red? I guess I think the maybe the red down here. That's cool. Chase Young and Chase Claypool, so it's a double chase pack, it's like wild card. So what do you think so far? Overwhelming? Underwhelming? I mean, we're not getting the best stuff, but it's still decent. Yeah, the Chris Alave is pretty good, but uh, yeah, so far, kind of in the middle. Steph Diggs, Saquon, Jermaine Johnson, Jets to nine ninety nine. This would be considered the base. Jermaine Johnson, our first numbered rookie. Dak Prescott, J.K. Dobbins. 
being some of the first in uniform autos, I think gives this set more value. Yeah. Miles Sanders, Justin Fields, and there is Roger McCreary to nine ninety nine. So another numbered rookie. Boy, we're not doing too good on our numbered cards. Mahomes, JJ Watt. Maybe we're gonna get a some kind of big case hit because the rest of it's kind of kind of. Eh. Building up to it. I feel like if you get like a vet auto numbered to one forty nine, you deserve a case hit. Like like an old school vet. Darius Leonard, Sam Darnold still in the Panther Panther uniform since he's still with the team. I wonder if they're gonna have Baker in Panthers this in this set. Debo, elite deck. What did you just do? Davis Mills, Cordero Patterson. I don't know why I said Sam's still in a Panther uniform. He's still a Panther. Yeah. I, I really just meant I was really thinking of Baker when I said that. Do you think he'll ever be cut? I, I doubt we're going to re-sign him after this year, honestly. DJ Moore, Josh Jacobs. It kind of depends on what happens. Kenneth Walker, rookie on deck. I'd like to build this set, the uh, insert set of these. DeAndre Swift, James Robinson. Another somewhat thick car uh, pack in here. It's weird, like it's a little bit thick, but not super thick. So this is our mem card, that's why. Looks like a moxie. Yes. Cam Akers, Derek Carr. Oh, did I love this insert, Ronnie yeah. Lott? Look at how good that looks. That's such a nice looking insert set. That should be a case hit for how good it looks, Ronnie Lott. Austin Eckler and our patch card, Javante Williams, little second year Javante, not numbered, little uh, orange. Thumbprint there. You should see hundreds and hundreds of these in retail. Hundreds upon hundreds. It's weird. Like, the filler will not fool you because the filler is pretty clearly thicker than the uh, Mem pack. Trey Lance, Michael Carter. Filler card. Okay, we got a die cut. This is going to be at, uh, at Aspirations. So, Aspirations is numbered. 100 minus the jersey number. So Dalvin Cook, I lied to you. I thought aspirations, maybe the regular ones are. This one's 5 of 24. He's number 33. All right, so that doesn't make any sense at all. 57. I, yeah, okay, I'm confused. Somebody's going to tell me in the comments how I screwed that up. But I thought the aspirations were, were 100 minus the jersey. I was, like, prepared mentally to explain that to you guys. <laughs> Die cut there out of 24. Looks nice. Looks like I might have some paint missing right there on the purple. Though. That's unfortunate. Devin White. Darren Waller. So, yeah, you usually get one, maybe two die cuts per box as well. So, you see what I mean? We're down to, like, seven packs. Maybe it's numbered to the number in his set. Okay. Still haven't seen uh, a Spellbound yet. Uh, we got something coming up. Number Josh Allen, Nick Chubb, uh, Brian Asamoa to three ninety nine. Another rookie. I think that might be our three rookies. Matt Judon, Lamar Jackson. Oof. All right, this is getting rough. This is getting a little bit rough. Even for a three hundred dollar box, this is. This, yeah. is, this is starting to get a little painful. Look, see, I said something about playmakers. We're about to get a third one. Mark Andrews, Jared Goff, Kyler Murray, playmakers. Devontae Smith, a bit scratched, and TJ Watt. This one feels a little thicker. Probably another filler in here. Uncle Nico, Jamal Adams. This is going to be your rookie elitist insert, Traylon Burks. That's cool. Yeah, I like that kind of marbling look. That is uh, Tennessee. Yeah, the complaint I heard some people having was it doesn't say the, the pro team on here. It's kind of strange. Tom Brady and Antonio Gibson. It's just weird. If you're going to have them in pro unis, then why not have them in pro unis in the entire set? Yeah. Is this another filler? How many fillers are in this thing? 
Good grief. Kirk Cousins, Kyle Pitts, filler number four. Oh, here's another rookie. So this is our fourth rookie, Jelani Woods. We still haven't gotten one of anybody I've ever heard of. Montgomery and Jonathan Taylor. Oh, goodness. We're, we're running out of time here for our case hit. Where are you at, case hit? I feel like it should happen right now. Is it, is it in here? Is it in here? <laughs> one of one case hit. Cortland Sutton. Cooper Cup. And... Nope. High Life. Deontay Johnson with a little crease in it. These are another another insert set here. Not numbered. Don't believe. Yeah. And you notice too they have the embossing on here. These some of these uh insert sets are embossed. Gabe Davis, Jalen Hurts. The card was messed up for a second. Oh yeah. Well it is, but not because of that. It had a little little crease down in the bottom corner. Uh. Luckily it's an unnumbered insert, so not too upsetting. C.D. Lamb, Jamar Chase, second year. Oh, this is like a gold. Let's see if there's a number. This one's at a 75. Miles Garrett. I don't know if that's a gold or a yellow. 22 of 75. Looks cool either way. Kind of the pinwheel pattern. Alvin Kamara and Travis Kelsey. Last pack. Here we go. All right, Cole. It's got to be here. Case hit in the last pack. Couldn't have planned it any better if I did it on purpose. Here it is. Are you guys ready to see it? I don't think it's going to happen. Jack Wilson. Terry McLaurin. We have a numbered field vision. First one of these I've seen. Chargers. Ooh, Justin Herbert. Yeah, we'll take that out of 99. Cool. So, you notice, we got zero spellbound. So... But I was telling Cole, there's still some number to like 349, just like last year. So does that mean they made 10 times as many hobby boxes? <laughs> Maybe. So Justin Herbert to 99 there, 61 of 99. That looks good. I like the horizontal. And then Miles Garrett and Justin Jefferson. So I don't know. I'm wondering if that means they're going to do something with retail, with Spellbounds and Field Vision and things like that that are still numbered. I mean, they've always had those as green and pink parallels in the retail. But I wonder if they're going to put more numbered in there now, since they're putting so many less of the numbered in here. Yeah. That would be kind of cool. All right, a little rundown for you guys. So, Ken Houston at a 149 auto. Chris Olave, Pen Pals. I'm, as far as Pen Pals goes, it's a pretty good one for this year. You're going to have a lot of wide receivers and running backs, I think, that are going to fill up this draft class for the, the talent positions. The quarterbacks may take a few years. Um, Chris Olave is supposed to be one of the better ones. I, I know he torched the Tigers when we played Ohio State. So, yeah. I might burn that card later just because of that. See how angry I get. Justin Herbert out of 99. Miles Garrett out of 75. Jelani Woods out of 999. Traylon Burks, rookie elitist. Kyler Murray, playmakers. Asamoa to 399. Dalvin Cook to 24. Which, again, kind of... Oh, man, such a nice low number die cut here, and then all scratched up. Ronnie Lot elitist. I think everybody so far I've seen agrees this is the best looking insert of the of the set so far. Yeah. Kenneth Walker, Debo, Roger McCreary at a nine ninety nine, Jermaine Johnson at a nine ninety nine, Kamara at a twenty five. That's a nice another nice low numbered uh, insert there. Um, Chris Olave again. T Higgins at a ninety nine. Like the purple. It's kind of a, with orange and purple, it's kind of Clemson color, so that's cool. Justin Herbert, Michael Carter to three three ninety nine, Justin Fields, uh, playmakers, and to three forty nine, uh, tidal waves. Again, first this is the first field vision and the first tidal waves that I've seen out of about eh, only about four or five boxes, but uh, yeah, good stuff. And then of course I can't forget. I'm sorry, my my Javante Williams moxie. I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to get some blasters and get 74 more of these. So, you know. Well, there you go. There's your Donruss Elite. Uh, what do you think, Cat? Old man. Like our box? I don't know. Like a five. Now, don't grade our box. What do you think about the product? I mean, I really love how it looks. The Especially that one insert. I cannot remember the name of it, but like the picture frame. The Field Vision one? 
No. Oh, 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 you mean this one. Yeah. Yeah, the Elitist. Seems like you get one per box. Also really love the uh, Elite deck. I always love those. Yeah, those are those are really fun. I'd love to get actual playing cards of that. Yeah, that would be play awesome. Play poker with it. Yeah. So overall, what do you give? What is your grade of the actual set this year? The actual product. I mean, I'm like a six or seven. Yeah, I'm probably closer to like a five or a six. Um, I think it's okay. I mean, for the value, it's a three hundred dollar box. It's not a thousand dollar box. So I think it's a little bit. I I, I think the price is going to probably drop a little bit on it. But yeah, I give it maybe a six. Well, there you go, guys. Thanks for joining us. Appreciate it as always. If you enjoy the content, drop a little uh, sub to the channel. Put a little like on the video, and we're gonna we're gonna pretty much rip everything we can get our hands on. So uh, come back and join us for some more videos. Hope you have a great rest of your week.